Hello guys, Magical Wanag here, ex-photographer from the Philippines. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn your live streams from this to this. All thanks to the Fujifilm webcam software. Quick backstory, I've always connected my Fujifilm cameras to my computer to use as a webcam. Made be Zoom meetings or streaming games and some live stream workshops or webinars. But I was only able to do that by using a capture card until now. With the X Webcam 2 software, you can easily connect your Fujifilm cameras to your PC and Mac and use it, well, as a webcam. In an instant, you can up your live stream content and look more professional capturing high quality videos. X Webcam allows you to change your white balance, exposure, and my favorite, Fujifilm simulations on the fly. I'll show you more of that after we set up. Step one, we download the X Webcam 2 software in the Fujifilm website. Link of that will be in the description below. So we scroll down and look for the download button. Let's click that available both for Mac and PC. Well, I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna click on that. Follow the on-screen instructions and restart. You can also check the handy guide made by Fujifilm in their website. Do note that you have to restart your computer for all the drivers to be completely installed. As soon as you're back on the desktop, look for the X Webcam software and launch it. You'll see a bunch of options such as Instant AF, Film Sim, White Balance, Color Temperature, and a tick box saying launch when camera is connected. Step number two is setting up our camera. For my live streams, I like using the X-T4 because of the fully articulating screen. It's very helpful and convenient because I can see myself or frame myself while the camera is pointed towards me. Quick disclaimer before connecting our Fujifilm camera, we want to make sure that all the settings in cam are already correct. First, we turn on our camera, set the drive mode to S or single shot, go to our camera menu settings, go to connection settings, connection mode, and select USB auto or fix. Now we go to the AF-MF settings. We want to turn on pre-AF, so continuous autofocus will be enabled. Also want to turn on face and eye detection, so your face will be in focus every single time. Lastly, you can set your camera shutter speed, aperture, and ISO to get the right exposure for your scene. Once your camera is all set, Connect your camera via the USB port to your computer. After that, we want to launch the X Webcam software. You may see all the options still unclickable, but don't panic because we need to launch our video conferencing software, which leads me to step number three. Open any video conferencing software. Through my testing, it worked well with Zoom, Facebook Live, Facebook Messenger, YouTube, and OBS. For today's example, I will be opening Zoom. Launch the Zoom application and click on the settings or preferences. Navigate to video. Oh. Under camera, you should be able to select Fujifilm X Webcam 2. Let's select that and boom. Just like that. Now that everything is set up, you'll be able to toggle any of these settings in the Webcam 2 software. See, instant AF, pretty straightforward. Instant autofocus. You have AE lock or auto exposure lock. Do note that this is not available when you're in manual mode. You have digital zoom. By default, it's at times one. It's the focal length of the lens that's connected. If we move this to 2.5, mm -hmm. pretty close, or a six. Super close. This is helpful if you're using wide lenses or prime lenses and it gives you that extra zoom. Or, you know, if you want your viewers or your co-workers to just see your eyes. Anyway, next is exposure compensation. Now this helps if you want to adjust your exposure just quite a bit. So you can just adjust this, make it darker, make it brighter. Okay, next is film sim, which is my favorite. You have all the film simulations that's available for your camera, which is mine is the X-T4. You have Vivid, you have Pro Neg High, you have Classic Neg. Every film sim in your Fujifilm camera will be usable with this. Let's stick with Turner Cinema here. And next is White Balance. As you can see here, there's Auto, Up Until Underwater. Everything will follow. Daylight, Fluorescent. Now the custom modes, as long as the custom white balance is set in cam before it's connected, then you'll be able to use it. Next is color temperature. Color temp is like Kelvin, so you have temperatures from 2500, which is super blue, super cool, or up until 10,000 Kelvin, which is super warm. It's nice that you have this option. Just like that, we've made your live streams look way better and way more professional than, you know, your low quality, low budget 
built-in webcams, which is sad. Look at that, look at the difference. You can see the difference right away. If you wanna take your live streams further, you can actually use other prime lenses to capture that shallow depth of field, like what I'm using right now, which is the 16mm 1.4. And to wrap things up, the Fujifilm X Webcam 2 is perfect for those who want to take their live stream to the next level and to maximize their cameras at home. Just an FYI, the Fujifilm X Webcam version 2 currently supports the following camera model. That said, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how you can turn your Fujifilm X camera into a webcam and avoid this right here. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below or chat with the community at the Fujifilm Philippines Facebook page. Don't forget to subscribe in this channel as well. This is Magic Duwana, ex-photographer from the Philippines. Thanks for watching. Peace.